We now have the Committee on International Trade for one minute, the Earl of Darkness. Um, I'm very, the uh, Commissioner addressed Turkey, and I'm very glad that he did, and also, it was also addressed by the, uh, by the uh, Shadow Rapporteur from, uh, from uh, AFET. Now, I'm going to just focus on one budget item, and that is the pre-accession funding for Turkey. Now, there's a report that's come out which it says the reality is that the funds spent under the IPA1 objectives have barely addressed the independence and impartiality of justice, the fight against high-level corruption, press freedom. And as a matter of fact, there are more journalists in prison in Turkey than there are in Iran. And these are quotes from the EU's own court of auditors. For the record, Turkey is scheduled to receive pre-accession funding of 1,940 billion euros 2018 to 2020. You always hear European values here, and this is simply an outrage, and I urge colleagues to vote against this tomorrow. There is a blue card request. Will you accept, Mr. Rubik? For yes, I'd like to take the card, yes. 30 seconds, please. I would like to thank you for that position because the international trade plays an important role. I've noted that a preparatory action which we called for in Parliament, the strengthening of the WTO towards, uh, in terms of administration, because we've had uh, big uh, complaints that the um, judges will leave even that the um, um, the Americans have a new case. Uh, there are no judges coming in. Is it important to support the WTO more um, from the European Union, financially speaking? Um, I'm always charmed by, uh, by uh, Mr. Rubik, and uh, especially on this occasion. Oh, and and uh, so I'll just give a very short answer. I very much agree, I very much, uh, agree with you, and the WTO needs to be supported. Thank you both. We now move to the Committee on Budgetary Control. Mr. Zeller, for one minute. Uh, 